Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I am your host Phoenix and today I am joined with an another friend. He was here like, I don't know, last week or something. I don't know when this will get uploaded. I don't remember. <laughs> but this is Raekwon again. He's joining once again <laughs> for some Oh fan guys, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Are you glad to be back? Do you regret oh, yeah. the invitation <laughs> at any point of this? <laughs> nah. Nah, I don't, I don't remember getting an invitation. Okay. <laughs> Do you say you don't remember getting an invitation? No. <laughs> Dude, I just forcibly grabbed you and you're like, you're gonna join for a lot of that book club now. <laughs> <laughs> just get in this um, call and, and read this shitty fan fiction. It's gonna be okay. Just don't call for help. <laughs> I um, won't. I'm already chained up. Yeah. <laughs> forced to stare at a screen. Yeah, just read the words carefully, man. Oh, that's all you have to do. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. we're we're continuing our reading of the do. I almost said Duolingo. The do flamingo <laughs> fan fiction. Uh, honestly, this wasn't that bad so far. I, I mean, I, I've said that about a lot of fan fiction. I'm like, oh, this is actually turning out pretty good, and then like it falls off. So who who knows with do flamingo? You know, it already fell off. In the oh, first yeah. chapter. <laughs> it already. You're like, damn, he's not murdering anyone. He's just like a guy with wine. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> How dare he not be a murderer? <laughs> All right, let me let me grab my coin real quick. What's, I'm gonna go fancy with this. We're doing one of those half dollar coins. All right. All right. Do you want to be heads or tails to read first? Tails. All right. It's heads. I get to read. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'm excited about reading shit, and I'm like, it's still, it's still, do flamingo, man. <laughs> it couldn't really be good. The best character in, in One Piece. Yeah, that's your opinion, man. It's the wrong opinion, but it's your opinion. What? <laughs> All right. Bro, I wonder if Sanji's we... the goat, man. <laughs> <laughs> do flamingo looked at the piece of paper like it was on fire. Dangerous, but inviting is just. Wait. Dangerous, but inviting to just touch it. Okay, I never just- okay. <laughs> the piece of paper has been hanging in his desk for three days already, and every time he saw it, he couldn't help but overthink everything. What if he looked desperate? What if you were only being nice? Why did you make him act that way? It was like he was possessed when he was around you. He would say nonsense or do things he was not used to. If you stare at him more, stare at him more time. Wait, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> the struggle. If you stare at him more, time was going to walk away. Said Monette, leaving some files on his desk. She had been seeing the struggle that Doflamingo was dealing with. He would walk around his office or bang his head against the door once or twice. It was driving her crazy. You should call her. It's not that easy. Doflamingo didn't know what he wanted with you. You had caught his eye, and he wanted to hunt you down, like he did with many others, but after speaking with you, something felt wrong about that. Oh my god, the pimp- the- the pimp is turning soft. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Why don't you give it a try? Monette crossed her arms. If she doesn't want you, then it's her loss. He felt stupid. Monette was giving him dating advice, and it made sense somehow. Get out, he managed to say. He was not talking about her with, uh, about that with her anymore. When I walked away, leaving him alone with his thoughts and her, in your phone number. Why the fuck did we get this man our phone number? <laughs> hmm. He's gonna he's gonna pull to our house and he's gonna be like, <laughs> "You're talking about how I got your address? Don't worry it's about a stalker it." Stalker <laughs> story. Full on stalker story. Yeah. If this isn't what is this that if this doesn't turn into that, I'm gonna be mad disappointed because <laughs> it's a don't flamingo thing to do. <laughs> I just want someone to die. Yeah, me too. Can it be me? I feel like I am dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know what happened at like the, that convention, man. I got home and my my throat's been hurting. I swear to God, if I wake up tomorrow and I have fucking strep throat, I'm throwing hands with someone at that convention. Someone gave me this illness. <laughs> Aren't they all gone already? Yeah. I'll oh. hunt them down. I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that bitch Chase that took my fucking drink at Starbucks. What the hell? 
Yeah, we'll if I ever see company. a man named Chase, it's on site. <laughs> a random dude named Chase. Alright, yeah. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Gotta hunt them all down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming this means the phone's ringing. Hello? You heard nothing on the other line. Uh, hello? <laughs> Are we like the phone guy for FNAF? We're just saying hello? <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm just recording to leave you a message. The animatronics here do get a bit quirky and <laughs> Hello. You managed- You smiled, recognizing the deep voice. Yeah, that's totally what I gave, a deep voice. Totally. You could almost feel that smile on his face. Hey, Doflamingo. How are you? He was not ready, but he couldn't just hang up the phone. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing great. He didn't even get to ask us. He was just like, yeah, I hope you're doing well anyway. <laughs> Man is not- th This has negative riz so far. <laughs> It's working. It's working somewhat. Yeah. He faced Pond mentally and held the phone more tight. I had a great time with you the other day and I wanted to take you out, he said firmly. But when he looked up, he saw Minnie shaking his head. Or her. Fuck. Her head in disappointment. He covered his phone. What? Don't be demanding, she mumbled. I mean, if you can, he corrected himself. There was a small silence. It might have taken three seconds for you to answer, but it felt like hours. Of course, I'm having a small party thing f uh, for a college tonight, if you want to crash it. He almost choked. He panicked. It was working in a way that he didn't expect, but coming from you, he didn't. He wouldn't be surprised. You confuse him. I love that when I gave up. Oh, gave him a thumbs up. <laughs> I thought she said like, <laughs> she gave up. <laughs> She's like, she's like, this man is hopeless. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm glad to hear that. I'll, I'll send you the address. You saw for a second. Just so you know, it's not a fancy dancy thing, so don't expect too much. Were you worried about him? Yeah, your co-workers were, were their own crazy thing, and you weren't even sure of why you had invited him to this party. Yeah, he's gonna stand out like a sore thumb, mainly because he's like, what, eight foot tall? Is he like yeah. ten <laughs> feet? <laughs> A massive coat or whatever, a cape, whatever he wears. Oh my god, that fucking pink foot! Oh my <laughs> god, motherfucker looks like a five-year-old that got like got himself dressed for school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works though. People are still scared. I guess you look. It's intimidating. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I can manage that. He said. He had been into. Oh, he had been into some really crazy parties before. How bad could it actually be? In the end, it was just a meetup for him. Just... He could ignore everyone. Then I guess I'll see you tonight, you said. I need to go get some... Some things done. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You hung up. To get your... My what? <laughs> what are we getting? Your pal... Pelea? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. What? I don't know. I've never seen that word. I don't know. We're, we're getting our... I don't know. Pancakes done. While Dofamingo looks at his phone expecting to talk back. Well done, said Monette. Leave now. Then I walked away, leaving Doflamingo alone with his thoughts. He needed a plan if he was going to see you. One wrong move and his prey would walk away. Man, d d bro's doing a lot to clap some cheeks, man. I would have <laughs> just given up on this one. <laughs> Too much work. Yeah, basically. Doesn't he just do one night stands with these girls anyway? Why is he putting so yeah. much fucking work in this? <laughs> because she's hard to get, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you would have more experience in this than, than I do. Is it like that? <laughs> of like, is it more satisfying? Uh, it, depends. it depends on who it is. Okay. No one likes easy prey. Yeah. <laughs> Driving through those streets made him feel doubt. This part was just regular for those stupid people who... who wait, who lived... Yeah, who lived under his feet. He couldn't believe he was going to this. He could just said no and take her somewhere else. This place was awful. It's just like a like a normal like apartment building and like. <laughs> Probably what's gonna be. I don't know. A whole bunch of kids or young people. I'm assuming this is like college, if that makes sense. College is like 19 to what 23, 22. I'm I'm like maybe fresh out of college people that are still like thinking that they're still in like the like like the oh, I'm trying to think of like the, what's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Like the like the um, pinnacle of their life. This is like their peak, and they're like, "Oh my god, oh, yeah. keep living! Like we're gonna die tomorrow!" And then they go to their nine to five. 
Uh, fuck, where do... Oh, uh, somewhere else. This place was awful. It was nothing like he was used to. If he had you, he could make you live any... somewhere actually nice. He parked and walked to the address you gave him. It was an old apartment. Too old for his liking. <laughs> it's not like modern, it's from like... like it's probably like early 2000s, he's like, Oh my god, this place is old as shit. <laughs> no one uses these bricks yeah. anymore. <laughs> he rang the bell, the number that you given him. 15. Hello? He heard your voice, distorted by an old artifact. I, I don't think that's how you spell artifact, because that almost tripped me. <laughs> oh, no, nah, not at all. <laughs> it's me. The door made a weird sound, indicating that he could come in. Oh my god, another FNAF reference of It's Me, like the, the like the Golden Freddy thing. Oh my god, we're so... F the, okay, anyway. <laughs> Maybe this is my brain run. <laughs> I'll see you inside. You sounded busy. Maybe it wasn't a good idea after all. But he, but still, he got in. Walking inside made it worse. He was, it was clear that this building needed repairs. Why would you have friends that would live in such an ugly place? <laughs> Dofamingo found the door with the number 15 on the third floor and got in after seeing that the door was barely closed. He recognized some of your colleagues, more specifically the woman who had asked for his reservation the first time he had dinner there. Hey! Your voice made him turn. I'm glad you made it. You offered a hug. It was so awkward for him, and yet he did it. I'm glad to see you again. If you feel uncomfortable at any point, you're more than free to go. I get... This is not your usual company. He smiled. He knew that you would understand his whereabouts and the kind of people he surrounded himself with. Yeah, the 1%. <laughs> That's what he's <laughs> yeah. These are like very opposites of like, the, he hangs out with the 1% while we are the, like the, the, like the below 1%. <laughs> the opposite direction yeah. of wealth. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, he said with his deep voice. It's a pleasure to see you again. I brought a bottle for your friends. <laughs> he had to think about that one. Yeah. You shouldn't have. This one's too expensive, he said, analyzing it. I have some good ones myself and my shelf. They don't know how to appreciate wine. Is this your house? Delphamingo couldn't believe that you would live in such a bad place. You had the talent to go further than a waitress and still you were working and living in this apartment. Yeah, sorry. It's not what... It's a fucking liar. It is. You just made fun of it. And we're like, God, this <laughs> building is decrepit and old, and and this is poor people shit. <laughs> no way you're you gonna say it looks nice. <laughs> you doing whatever it takes. Yeah, anything to clap cheeks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. You smiled warmly at him. He didn't want to make you feel bad. He couldn't understand your motives for living here, so he couldn't judge. I like this picture. He pointed out one that was on the wall of you when you were little. Oh, I forgot to hide that one. You cross your arms. I usually take them off so they don't break. You should leave it there. You look cute. What is wrong with me? <laughs> He's about to lose it. Yeah, honestly, what is about <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know. He had not intended to say that at all. Maybe it was a bad idea. Then I'll leave it there. He looked at his glasses. Do you always wear them? Yes. <laughs> cool. She, she looked around. I made some, uh, I don't know, pancakes if you want that. <laughs> and there's some cake in the kitchen too. Oh, so you cook too? He teased. I uh, wonder what else you can- what? <laughs> it's, it's a- hold up. It's a Spanish rice di dish or something. Some ricers. I don't know. I don't know. I just looked it up. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm not gonna try. <laughs> uh, even though I'm learning fucking Spanish right now, I'm not gonna trust myself to, to pronounce that. Pay yes, That's fair. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it, I just... Uh... Oh, you could... I wonder what else you can do. You hit him with your elbow, and... And walk to the kitchen, but you chuckled. The night was going well. He had to talk... Oh, he had to talk with some of your colleagues because you needed to do stuff. So you got to know- Oh, he got to know some of your friends. And a little more about your boss, who was a drunk mess. Doflingo wasted no time pulling information about you with him. School? He nodded with his creepy smile. I don't know. I don't think, um, that he told me, but I know- <laughs> Hiccup. <laughs> 
She doesn't really talk Sorry. about that. <laughs> What'd you say? Did you, did you say that I sound drunk right now? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I promise I've not, I have not had a drop. It's, it's like... Oh, fuck. What am I eating right now? Hold on. I've been eating these, like, sore throat cough drops right now, so... Oh. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's the medicine <laughs> kicking in. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That could be. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're right about that, you said, getting into the conversation. Good try still. If you want to know something, you have to ask me. Sorry. It's okay. You cross your arms. Boss, Maria... Oh, boss, Maria's gonna take you home, okay? He nodded and stood up, following Maria outside the apartment. The last person there was now Doflamingo. I swear to God, if he tries anything, I'm getting the pepper spray. <laughs> he's, he's about to, I bet. Yeah. So, can I ask? He asked, crossing his leg. It depends. What do you want to know so bad? He thought about it. He wanted to know everything to try to understand why he was stuck with you. I'm not that interesting. But you were so wrong. That's why you had caught his attention. Because you were so interesting. What's your favorite color? He knew that he wanted to know you. It would take some time, but it was so different for him. He was willing to give it a try. Uh, fuck. Uh, blue. <laughs> blue, what's yours? <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta add this shit to it now. Favorite color... B blue. <laughs> Alright, huh? chapter oh, six? Yeah, I can oh, read your Roman numerals, I'm so smart. Hi. Answer Doflamingo. Wait, hold up. Wait, did you- He just asked what color, right? Yeah, it's just blue. Alright. Yeah, so, so Beef what? answered yeah. Doflamingo. If it's cooked correctly, obviously. You and Doflamingo had been up the last two hours after the party talking about nothing and everything. Constantly asking, asking each other simple questions that grew more personal as the bottle of wine got emptier. How about school? You asked. What kind of student were you? He made him think. He was not that good as a student. He had he had bribed teachers, and she had, he could remember and beat up anyone who dared to oppose him, all except for one teacher. I had a teacher. He sipped from his glass. He used he used to say, "Oh shit, man, I'm fucking blind. Damn it! <laughs> I was just, uh, I was wait." I had a teacher. He sipped from his glass. He used to say, I was a the one? Huh? Okay, I'm not crazy. But I was a pain in the ass for my principal and the others. He smirked at the memory. You on the you on the other way looked like the kind of girl who was on top of her glass and all. Probably even the best of your grade. I wish you sat comfortably in your couch. I did have good grades, but I got distracted with a lot of stuff. And, I, and I'm a sleepyhead, so I spend a lot of my time in school passing out at my desk. You pulled out your phone and look for a picture. Here. You showed a picture of you, a younger you sleeping in a, in a bench. Damn it. Why do I have to get all the, like, the crazy punctuation? <laughs> oh, oh, man. This grammar's crazy. Right. How can you sleep in, in such an uncomfortable place? <laughs> Don't mingo chuckle. You look so peaceful. To be fair, oh, I was always tired. You justified yourself. I live in a crazy house. You took the phone back before Doflamingo could swipe and search for more photos. My turn then. Doflamingo thought about it. He had answered a lot of irrelevant questions already and he knew just normal stuff about you. Like your favorite food or information about your friends. How about your family? Your face got serious. It was something you didn't, you didn't talk about at all. They are good, I guess. You stood up and, be and began cleaning up. Mama is always as good as she has something made of gold hanging from her neck. Brother must be still driving fast, faster than he should and father's resting. You sounded mad. I give up. I give only thinking on them it made you change completely. You rested your eyes on the floor for a second and brushed the thought away. Doflamingo was, was intrigued nonetheless. There was some, some amusement about that story. And he can keep asking about something told him not. Well, okay, he can keep asking something told him not to. He feel like it, it was not right, like he hurt you somehow just by asking that. But why did he care? I'm going to retire now. He said, standing up. It's a pleasure to see you. And have a 
and have talked and have spoken to you. You turn you turn to face him, give him a kind smile. Thank you for coming, Do Flamingo. You walk towards the door, opening it for him. It is always the fun to see you. You open your arms, offering a hug. Oh man, don't do it. Do Flamingo took a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do Flamingo took a second to figure it out, but accepted it in a weird way. You were short for him, so he Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> You were short for him, so you had to curve his back. Hold on, Doflamingo. wait a minute. <laughs> what is the height of Doflamingo? I'm gonna say 7'3". Doflamingo is one of the most... Yeah, the intact... He is 10 feet tall, I knew it! Or I approximately was, was... 305 centimeters. Yes, you read that right? He is the giant <laughs> among men. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Google. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doflamingo couldn't help, but it feels warmth coming from you. It felt secure and somehow inviting. How could a hug make him feel this much for a woman he met not long ago? <laughs> oh man, he's already he's already trapped. She must be manipulating him as well. Yeah, I don't know. One more thing I have, Doflamingo. Struggled to let you go, but he had to appear strong. What are your favorite flowers? Uh, what do you want Louis' favorite roses. flower to be? Okay. Roses! roses. It's a... Fucking cliche bitch! <laughs> yeah. okay, fine, it's roses. <laughs> you said finding a, a bouquet in front of you, your door the next day. You brought them inside and put them in, in water right away, taking care of them like they are made of glass. Wow. Spent at least 15 minutes. He didn't even hand it to us? He was like, he just threw it on our porch. <laughs> hey, it worked. I guess it's a good surprise. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't give flowers out like that. You spend at least 15 minutes looking for a good sport to put to put them try, good spot to put them trying to make your apartment look nicer. For whatever reason, you put them next to your bed, deciding happily at the view. Said to yourself, it had been years since you received flowers from someone. You got ready to keep on with your day every now and then glancing at the beautiful flowers that he had gotten to you. Every time you saw them, you couldn't help but feel something funny in your chest, and from time to time you even smiled. Hold up, is it the weekend, or isn't she supposed to be at work? Well, I think with, like, waitressing and whatnot, you work five days, so, I mean, it's just random whenever your two days are gone. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Thank you for the flowers, they're lovely. You texted him before going out of your apartment. He didn't answer right away, but you knew he was a busy man, so you didn't mind. Walking down the streets, heading down to town, you couldn't help but to skip from time to time like something was making you feel happy oh she got she got butterflies in her stomach what the heck something that you couldn't explain somehow the sky seemed bluer and the sun the sunshine bright and everything seemed to agree that it was a beautiful day i'm glad that you liked them you read the, you read his message i like how you looked at us i like how you look today you look around confused you saw the tall man seating on a bench with some shopping bags with weird names on them you couldn't help but to run towards him. Something that he found cute. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? You smiled. Are you following me or something? <laughs> if I was, you wouldn't see me, he stated, like a real psychopath. But you brushed it away. I was getting something from a party of my own. Okay, this guy's crazy. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't just randomly tag somebody that looked good if I haven't spoken to him. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Fancy Pants has a party going on. You said sitting next. It is. Is it another one of your things to get clients? He smiled, but said nothing. What? Nothing. It's my birthday party. He confessed, looking away. The people walking by. You are obviously invited. Me? He nodded. Del Flamingo, are you sure you want me there? He handed you an invitation. Fancy as always. Probably more expensive than your phone. Damn. That's crazy. What is it fucking like lace with gold? <laughs> I know, that's crazy. <laughs> and actually, um, it's just a pure piece of gold that they have like ingrained with like the you're invited and yeah. all the details. I I'd go to a pawn shop easily. I mean, definitely 100000 I don't know how much it costs. Yeah. I'd be pleased if you could join me, he said calmly. He really wanted you to go, but pressuring you into going was not going to end well. Or at least that was what Monet said. That was what Monet said, okay. Only because it is your birthday. You melted his heart with those words, but he had done the same to you when he invited you. Did you bought this for your birthday? You, what the fuck? Yo, I, I'm, I'm my brain trying to understand. Is, <laughs> Did you buy? Listen, this? English isn't their first language. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling, struggling. You peeked inside one of, one of his bags to see a, a fluffy feather thing. Feather like thing. Pink. Oh, man. Oh, my it's God. A collection code. <laughs> it's a collection code. You wouldn't understand this type of fashion. If you joke around, only fancy pants like me get it. If you wear this, you're going to look just like a real flamingo. You say putting it putting it back. I can I can't wait to see you wearing it. That stupid well, fucking pink coat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you look good good enough in it. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What? Wait. I love this comment at the bottom. It says fluffy looking ass. That even <laughs> lost him's like me. Just want to cuddle up with him. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they even got a picture of a fucking flamingo on, on the next pic- god damn. <laughs> also, I don't know if it will happen, but uh, like, I I think you can see on uh, on Wattpad, there's little sections and there's like a little like bubble here that has like like a number in it. If you press on it, it if so, like, it's people commenting on that section and giving their opinion. So if some wild shit happens and there's a shit ton of comments, you know the comment section is going to be absolutely goaded with, like, <laughs> some right. funny-ass shit. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So if anything crazy happens, you'll just see a bunch of people just go, Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Definitely uh, pay attention to that. But chapter 7. I'm so good at reading Roman immortals. This Wait is past him. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the big modern mansion in front of you as you approached it. You were so confused on why there was no one here despite your invitation stating it started at four. And you were a little late already because your taxi got lost in the rich neighborhood. <laughs> Are you lost, pretty girl? Asked the, the, the gatekeeper approaching you at the entrance. Oh, excuse me, I'm here for Mr. Doflamingo's birthday party? You said, looking at... Looking into your little purse f for a fancy invitation. Is this the right address? The gatekeeper examined the invitation and looked at you, is examining you as well. This is new, he mumbled, opening the gate. Have a great time, man. Why well, should be like no one? He just like sits in a room <laughs> with a piece <laughs> of cake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the saddest birthday party I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It's just him and the girls. So it's a it's a trap. Oh, oh my god, you're right. What were we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Will we get out of there? <laughs> poor, poor. <laughs> Thank you, you said nicely, as the gate opened slowly. You were hesitant to walk inside, but you made up your mind already. So you began walking through the front yard slowly, but steadily at the best high, high heels you had, opening each step until you reached the house door. Your hand slowly reached for the doorknob, but the door opened before you could even touch it. Oh, Louis. Fuck. What's our last name? Remember? Do we even have one? I forgot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, Louis. Last name? A girl dressed as a maid opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I came for Del Flamingo's birthday. She interrupted you by hugging you really tight. I'm so excited to meet you, she said, letting you go. Monette told me a thing or two about you. You chuckled. Call me baby. I'm here to be as useful as I can, so don't hesitate to ask for any- Oh, it's baby five! I love her. <laughs> She's the baby. Bae. It's a pleasure to meet you. She smiled widely at you. Come inside, please. You stepped inside the big house and smiled at yourself. He really was it- uh, Eccentric? Yeah, sure, that's close enough. The thing that you saw around were really fancy and expensive. You felt that if you stared at them for too long, you would have to pay for them. I was waiting for you. How come? You asked as you kept an eye around everything. A lot of people were getting everything ready for the party. As it was just like you had been too early. Doflamingo asked me to get you some nice stuff for the party. You face palm mentally. So that's the deal, you thought. He had given you an invitation that was really early so you could change the thing more proper for his party. Man, I guess he doesn't want that poor peasant clothes at his... <laughs> he needs designer on this bitch. He's like, where'd you get that fucking JC Pennies? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he had given you an invitation so you'd be really early to change to something more proper for his party. You couldn't blame him. You were wearing the best 
dress in your closet. That being a green bridesmaid dress at your from your friend's wedding. I need to go shopping, you mentally note. Come on, follow me. Is Doflamingo around? You asked as you followed her into what appeared to be a guest room. He's getting some stuff done, but he'll be at the party for sure. Baby opened the closet of the guest room while mumbling some song. You left your small gift bag on the bed. It wasn't something too fancy or expensive, but you thought he might like it. It's just a bottle of wine. That's all we know about Doflamingo. He likes wine and being extra, apparently, with... <laughs> Here, we chose it for you. This? You'd even dare to touch it. The dress was so fancy and beautiful. The long V-neck dress was shining with gold, a oh, gold rose, I think it's rose gold. I think they flipped that by accident. It's rose gold color. It made you feel like you were wearing a bro, you were wearing a broccoli? It, what the fuck does that mean? Is this a dress? I don't know shit about dresses. Is this like a dress type that I'm not aware of? I know the mermaid one, where it's like, it's supposed to be like tight and then like it comes out like little fins. I don't know what the fuck broccoli dress means. I don't think I should wear that. I can't afford it. It's like it's like like our entire year's salary into this one dress. That's really how it is. Yeah, it's the rich people. <laughs> Nonsense. It's a gift from Monette and I. Baby set the dress on the bed. I don't know you, and I know that you have been talking with Dofi just recently, but I've seen him really happy since then. You couldn't help but to smile a little. That him he had made you more happy too. It was like you really enjoy spending time with them. That's why he had, you had accepted his invite to see him. Th thank you, baby. She gave you a thumbs up. I'm excited about this party. I'm glad to hear that. Now let's get you ready. She cheered. You followed her by standing up so you could put on the dress. Bro, wait a minute. Wait, I know this author. Give me one second. Oh, it happens at chapter 13? Alright, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> that means like the ne Fuck, how many is that? Because we've been reading four parts before ending, so... Okay, so that's, that's two. Uh... Three. Okay. Man, we're gonna have to read Smut at some point. I'm probably gonna have to read it, because I don't think you're gonna read it. <laughs> Just realized. <laughs> Doflamingo? A man called Doflamingo's attention. This is an incredible party, if you allow me to say so. Oh my god, they're rich. <laughs> Doflamingo nodded as the man walked away to join another party of fancy people being amused by a, a, a tiger? Where the fuck did they get a. Do, do, do rich people just have weird exotic pets? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Where did I leave off? Oh, there it is. It was a common thing to have real-life animals at his parties. Dancers, magicians, fancy, famous singers, and even stri- Okay, we're, we are getting strippers. Let's fucking go. <laughs> it was a huge thing for rich people who, who he knew. But he had- But he had town- Wait. But he had town down a little- Oh, tone- <sighs> Breeding's hard. <laughs> But yeah, toned it down a bit this year. Since he knew that you'd be there. So no strippers. No strip. This is the worst party I've ever had in my life. This is so not Doflamingo. So, where is the girl? Diamante asked, standing next to him. He really didn't know. He was sure that you were there because Monette had informed him. But the party started already and he, had he hadn't seen you or Baby around. He felt anxious and excited to see you. He couldn't speak with you during He couldn't speak with you during the week because he had he was planning the party. She's here. It's all that matter to him right now. I am. Your voice caught him off guard. He turned around to face you, and his eye in his eyes you look gorgeous. I hope so. You put maybe you put on like, I don't know. A a thirty thousand dollar dress. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta look good for everybody, I guess. Yeah, you couldn't be prouder of what Baby had done with your outfit. 
You fit into the party just right, and yet you shine above everyone else. You look pretty handsome in that thing, if I'm being honest. But why should it just be a suit and that stupid pink fucking coat around him? I <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> or, no, or it's just like his normal attire. Or just like the, the shitty pants that just come up and you can see all the like hair. Yeah. <laughs> it probably probably that it's right there. Normal that attire. <laughs> you couldn't look better. He admitted with his with a big smile showing off. He, I fucking knew it. <laughs> He was wearing his pink feather coat like a king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> he must buy like the exact same outfits every time he goes out. Yeah. It'll save money, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it. I thought this would be too much for you. It is, but you wanted to say it so bad, yet you were scared that he wouldn't say it back. I. I wanted to give you this. You handed the small gift back, shaking. Now you were doubting. He took it and looked inside, curious. Taking a small glass shape fruit. We just got a little fucking go, you fucking did. <laughs> it was surprisingly beautiful. I know it's nothing too big and, and maybe it, it's not. Maybe it's not something you'd. I like it, he stated strongly. You had gotten it for him after all. You both stared at each other trying to say the right thing. It was so complicated for him. He wasn't sure what to do. You were not like the other one. Yeah, we're not like other girls. <laughs> we're poor. <laughs> and not a gold digger. <laughs> you were struggling too. You haven't felt something like this for so long that you were scared. So, this is the girl? Diamante said, approaching the two of you. It's a pleasure to meet you, lady. Uh, thank you. He shook your hand, making you and Doflamingo get out of the situation your heads were creating. You were sure that you've seen him before in the restaurant. Louis, let me introduce you to my family, Doflamingo said, taking your hand to guide you. More like an instinct. It was warm and vague for you. I hope it- he's like ten feet tall, it better be- watch you just have fucking shitty little baby hands. <laughs> These are Treble? Oh, I remember fucking Treble. He, I hated him so much in the end. <laughs> Pika? I don't know who they are. Oh. I hated- I think, yeah, it was trouble. He had, like, this stupid fucking laugh, and he had, like, snot that looked, like, constantly ran from his nose. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, like, his whole devil fruit was some kind of, like, slime thing. I forgot what the name of it is, but, like, he, he was, like, basically a guy made out of goo. That's nasty. Yeah. Pika and Vergo. The man looked at you bored and nodded without properly introducing themselves. It wasn't weird to see Doflamingo with a girl, but it- did weird them out that he was presenting them. It's a pleasure, you said, still trying to be nice as you could. After all, they did greet they did greet you more nicely than as they saw you were not like those other girls. <laughs> I'm sure you already met Mon Monette and Baby, he said, pointing at them, who are on the other side of the room. The ones in that section are Gladius D I can't pronounce that. <laughs> uh Del Deliger? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> uh, Jora and Senor Pink. You spotted them playing cards while a group of people watched. The woman there is velvet. You pointed to a woman dancing, showing herself off. You have a big family. You didn't expect it. It was a weird twist of what you thought about him. You can see he cared about them, and they looked like they did care with- Oh, did- Fuck. They look like they did the same with him. <laughs> We have more members, but they're out now. While looking at his family, he spotted Paula in the crowd of people, and his smile changed with a, into a grin. She wasn't supposed to be here. S stupid bitch. <laughs> That's the lady in the in the like the very first chapter that was uh kind yeah. of sleep with him or something. Yeah, basically a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> he now had to deal with her. She wasn't supposed to ruin his night. Excuse me, I need to go deal with something. He let go of your hand, leaving you alone. Oh my god, now we're. We're just gonna sit in the corner of the punch <laughs> for the rest yeah. of the night. <laughs> you know, like, we're just we're like, so you you like uh, taxing? <laughs> <laughs> you like taxing the port? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you felt so weird there. You were uncomfortable being surrounded with so many people. You made your way to the small. I f man, I call it shit. <laughs> that they had set up, and decided to get a glass of water after seeing how expensive everything was. 
It's like the fucking, like, the Fuji E water. $20. Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wonder... You wandered around the party watching the big animals, but they didn't catch your attention. What did was Doflamingo speaking with a girl. She was pretty. She could be a model, as far as you knew. You began wandering. Why were you there? Paula! You saw Doflamingo shouting at the woman who was now walking towards you. You felt it. Anger. She looked like she wanted to kill you. She grabbed a glass of water off the table near you and kept walking while Doflamingo tried to make his way there before her, but you reach first. Do you think you can steal him from me? She accused you before throwing a water, a glass of water at you. You're fast we, Okay, I guess we were. Cool. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad I had that reflex. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> yeah. Ultra instinct. Yeah. You're fast to grab a, a tablecloth of the table next to you to cover yourself. Paul wasn't satisfied. It was ready to murder you right there in the spot. As she was about to throw the glass at you, but her hand was caught by Doflamingo. Leave. Right now, he said, really intimidating yet low enough to avoid causing a scene. If you don't leave right now, security will come. Do you want to look that bad? Paul gave you a despiteful glance before getting out of Doflamingo's grasp and walking away with some curious glares following her. I'm sorry about that, he said, leaning to see if you were okay. You were dry thanks to the tablecloth you pulled out at the last second. You were grateful that there was nothing on the table at that moment. Yeah, we just pull it and all the fucking punch goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he let go of the cloth. Now I noticed how close his face was to yours as he kept eyeing you just to make sure. I'm okay. I need to make sure she left the, p the premises. He gave you one of his smiles and walked away. Now you were s staring at him walking away, hoping he'll be back. I hope so. We don't know anyone else at this party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right, chapter 8. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want something else? You nodded. The bar the bartender gave you another glass of water. Here. Thank you. You stood there drinking it slowly. The party was going well, at least for the people around who seemed to enjoy themselves, with the very exotic attraction that Doflamingo had set up in his house. You were feeling uncomfortable around this fancy people. Oh, man. I knew it. The 1%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After you left to get Paul out of his house, you had not seen him. It had been an hour already. There was no sign of him. He was the only reason you were there. You began considering leaving the party after a couple of people began talking to you about all of their possessions. They kept bragging about their boat and house and their visa, and you couldn't escape the conversation. So have you been there? The man asked. No, I don't have the pleasure, he said nicely. But they looked at you a little confused. How come? The woman chuckled. What kind of person has been to Ibiza? You didn't answer. Has Oh, has never been to Ibiza. You didn't answer. And said you gave a polite smile. Who are you? She said, almost spiting. She's with me. Doflamingo's voice made you turn immediately, looking for his face to find an escape from them. I'd like to have a word with her if you don't mind. And the couple gave you a despiteful look and walked away. Wait, why are they getting mad over the, that conversation? There was nothing. All right, I don't know. You're like, damn, how, this bitch is too <laughs> poor to associate with us. She hasn't been to yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you said walking towards him. I began to wonder if you had left your own party. I'm sorry for that woman, he said. He had to call a bunch of people to get her off the, off of the property. She's insane. I swear she won't bug you. I think she's gonna try to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's alright. It's alright. You wink. I have one or two feisty customers from time to time. I know how to deal with difficult people. I wonder if you could deal with me. He whispered. Whoa. In, in your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What are these four people saying in the comments? <laughs> Moses definitely can. Yes, anything for you. Yes, I'm young master. <laughs> Yo, uh, that's, you guys are crazy. Not that. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. You whispered in your ear. You chuckled. It tickled you somehow. Stop it. You said, laughing and covering Doflamingo's mouth. Tickled, she said. Who would have thought? He smiled at you. You felt so comfortable around him. Even with all these strangers around you, it didn't matter. Dolphy! Said Diamante with the microphone, making everyone turn to see Doflamingo in Diamante. 
We want to wish you a happy birthday. Enjoy your day. Everyone clap at the tall man. You look at him, clap him with the others. He looked at you too. Your eyes met, met each other's. And they didn't want to, want to let go. There was something there. Oh no, she's already trapped. Sparks fly. Oh, oh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Thank you all for being here, Doflamingo said, getting everyone's attention. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. I am. He gave you a quick glance. Please keep it up. Everyone clap. And in no time, kept enjoying the little shows Doflamingo around his house. Oh, I kind of want to see like what he, what he got going on. Uh, there's apparently a tiger just walking around. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd be at that party with him. I ain't trying to get eight. <laughs> you were about to say something to him when he he hand grabbed your he hand grabbed your arm. Oh, I'm stupid. When I gra hand grabbed your arm and pulled you away, you reached for Doflamingo with your free hand, but he just laughed as you were dragged away from him. Oh, he got kidnapped. Damn. When you're far enough to to not see Doflamingo, the person who dragged you made you turn made you turn to face you. Huh? Louis, it's nice to meet you. It was a dancing girl, Viola. She had dragged you away to a place where Monet, Baby, and her were. I'm sorry to drag you away. We just wanted to talk with you. You are the first girl to be on his birthday party. Monet said, handling you, handing you a what? Handing you a glass of wine. I found a good. Ma, what the? Is, how do you say that word? Mabec? Mabic? I don't know. I don't. You like <laughs> <can't> drink wine? <laughs> I mean, you could. I found a good man. <laughs> I'm a back for you. You took the. You, you sipped it. It was really good. It is a good one. Thank you again. It's no problem, she smiled politely. So tell us, what do you want with Dolphy? Her tone changed to a serious one. And so did the other's faces. If you want money, we can give you money. But we don't want problems. Problems? They began approaching you, cornering you slowly. I suggest you leave Dolphy alone. We offer you. What the? What's the what's the currency in in one piece? Belly? Uh, berries. Oh, berry. Oh. We offer you 150,000 berries to, to leave to leave. Oh, Viola said, pulling a bag of a bag full of what you assume to be money. We don't want problems. Dang, is she about to get jumped? What do you think you're doing? You said, pushing them away. I'm here because I really care about them. You look at them angry. I don't want your money. I don't want his money. A tear rolled out of your eye, but. You, you cleaned up, but you cleaned up fast. If you want me to leave, I'll... We don't want you to leave, said Monet, composing herself. We just wanted to make sure you're not one of those bitches. All right. I'm sorry for being too harsh. Viola gave a smile, patting your shoulder. We knew you were good, but you know, sometimes even the good ones are can be a little tricky. I believe in you, said Baby, giving you a thumbs up. This is so insane, you said annoyed. You could have given me a heart attack or make me just go nuts. Relax. We kind of trusted you, said Monet, sipping her own glass. She looked behind you. She's good to go. You turned to see who she was speaking to and saw no other than Doflamingo. Did he know they were going to do this? Oh, does the girl scared you? Did the girl scare you out? Huh? Oh, he said, I putting apologize. his head on. <laughs> if the girl scared you. <laughs> scared. Yeah, that's uh, okay. He said, putting his hand on your shoulder. He looked at them. Please be more delicate next time, and please leave the bag out of anyone's reach. I want, I want my towels in the bathroom, not in random bags. Oh, that's crazy. Towels? My nephew opened a bag to show it was full of towels instead of money. I told you that we trust you. Monet said, closing the bag before leaving with it. After the little incident, Do Flamingo, good idea to get you out of there. You seem stressed about the whole acting, acting thing, and it had kind of hurt you. He dragged you around the garden, around around his house, to walk and talk, but you were still not feeling okay after what they had done. Are you okay? He asked carefully. You had not talked at all. I'm just... You stopped walking and looked at the clear sky. I felt used. He got closer to you. He didn't know how much it would affect you. It was something the girls did since an incident with Paula, and he really didn't know how much of what they had done. I swear they're not like that. His husky voice says, a, a dog husky? What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe deep? Is that what they yeah, mean? Yeah, I, I guess so. They just don't like scammers coming coming around, coming after the family money. I'm really sorry if they hurt you in some way. He, he was too soft. He noticed that. He had never been sorry for something like this, but he felt the, ne the necessity of assuring you you're okay. He leaned to see your face more clearly. He felt the necessity 
just to have you around. Oh, he's about to kiss her. Don't Flamingo cupped his face. Oh, no. No. Don't Flamingo cupped his face now. <laughs> but he was close enough and pulled you in into a small kiss. The moment your lips touched his, he was lost. <laughs> the moment your lips touched his, he was lost in them. You parted leaving him with a crave of more. It was intoxicating for him. He pulled you into another kiss, a little, no. a little deeper, but not too strong. You parted the kiss again, making him desperate to have you. He wanted you there, but your smile in his eyes made him calm down. He touched your hand still in his face. This was too much for him. You were driving him crazy. This is too much for Happy me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Happy birthday, Doflamingo, you whispered kindly, leaving a kiss on his cheek. What are, the, what are these comments say? <laughs> Off screen, dog. Your... The hunter has become hunted, and he is falling for every trap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chapter 9. Fuck That's crazy. That. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, that chapter. Me either. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm, okay, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, jeez. Damn. I'm, re I'm realizing that the way that we've been doing this, has, we've been reading like four chapters, which is fine. I mean, yeah. It's a, it's a good pace and whatnot, but I'm realizing if we record a Dolphingo again, the next time we would read, we would yeah. have to read fucking Smut. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you knew the lingo, man. Damn, I'm, I'm. How old are you? Did you know how old I am? 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm an old man. I'm like 36. Bro, you're like 21. <laughs> or 22. Bro, I'm, I'm 23. I'm 23. 23? Yeah. <laughs> Are we in the same grade? It's still old, old enough. Oh my god. Well, maybe maybe we'll have I I can read it, man. It's, I've, nah, I've I'll, read I'll, that shit before. It's all good. <laughs> I'll read through it. I'll just be cringing the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> at least we can make fun of it the entire time while we <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. So what what do you think of these last four chapters? I think it was a uh, hmm. Honestly, I I feel like she's gonna manipulate him at the end. Oh, we're we're gonna be the hunt. We're gonna be the hunter. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, we just run off with this money at the end. It's not even yeah. like a. Yeah. <laughs> or the or Paula, or Paula's gonna end up killing that girl or something, or something crazy. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be really funny if that does happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I'd definitely laugh. But I'd be sad. Is yeah. all this all this? It's the end. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, we just <laughs> what we kill ourselves. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That <laughs> that could happen as well. Boy, he, he killed himself as well. Hmm. See, this is... I, honestly, that, I, maybe that could work. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kinda, I don't really, I really can't see where this is gonna go. Yeah, me either. But, I, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That, that last <laughs> chapter got, got me, like, caught off guard, I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. I feel, I feel like I was, like, grasping for my pepper spray, and I'm like, back! Back, I said! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the, with the people with devil fruits. I don't know if they, they probably they probably wouldn't even affect him. They'd be angry and then probably destroy you. Yeah, that's no, you are actually. He wears glasses. He the pepper spray yeah. wouldn't even affect him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. You be on his face. You just like look at it like mm, I I love pepper. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank thanks for joining, man. I highly appreciate it. Oh. And then if you guys want to read this Doflamingo book or any of their other books, like, like the Sanji one, the Sanji one's like really good. You guys should want, like read that one. It's there. Uh, the this book is gonna be in the description. Just go through the author's page from there, and whatnot. And then all my uh, what, what's my fucking script again? I forgot. <laughs> 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 On screen somewhere is the playlist full of other Wattpad book club readings if you're interested in that. And also in my description is also a bunch of links of my social media. So check out any of that shit if you're interested. All right. Do you have any final words that you want to say for this? Uh, no. Nah, I'm good, I'm good <laughs> now. You're like, ah, oh, no comment. <laughs> Please and thank you forever. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well my name is Phoenix, that was Rayquan, and we'll see you guys next time. Take Bye care. Guys.